There's the first three by faces. This is the one I'll be working on today. I'm gonna bring in a slightly larger hammer stone. This hammer stone, believe it or not, I bought when I first started flint napping back in uh, 2012, nine years ago now. It was much bigger at the time. It was shaped by a machine to be kind of thicker at one end, tapered down at the other end. I've worked it down over time and it's got a lot of, a lot of weird angles on it. I always find the right one to use. But it's a little small for this job, at least at this stage. This is going to be a tricky one to thin down well.
bad move. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have hit that a second time. The platform wasn't strong enough to take the whole thing.
This is the right mess. They don't all go according to plan. Very rarely do they do actually. Too much. A little bit too much on that one. Okay, that'll be our first broken biface example of our hornstone biface cache. can see I set that platform up way too strong and I actually misstruck. I wanted to take it off here. I hit here uh, at too much of a downward angle this way and it just tore off the back and a bunch of the opposite side. So 
So instead of turning that into a really small bite face, I'll just leave it as it is. Why not? By face number four, not so successful, but a good educational tool, learning piece, I think.